Hey, good morning everybody. Welcome back to the channel. Uh, today, we're gonna be finishing the install of my SRAM NX drivetrain. I got it for my birthday. I may have started the install process last night and um, I may or may not have been a couple of drinks in <laughs> and I may or may not have thought the camera, you know, was running and it wasn't. So let me fill you in on what we have so far. I didn't get a whole lot done, so don't worry. Last video, I had the bottom bracket already put in. So somehow, some way last night, I got these cranks installed. But uh, it's just a simple system right here. Go ahead and go over that real quick. Uh, the spindle is on the non-drive side arm and it goes right here. You have your uh, chain ring attached to this crank arm right here. Uh, you push them, you know, push the uh, non-drive side in and it has a little, uh, you know, lip or whatever that this connects to and then use an eight mil hex to just screw that on, clamps them together. And then there was a little play in the system right here uh, after I got done tightening this down to whatever 40 Newton, me Newton meters or whatever it is. And that's what this little thing right here is for. It is a preload adjuster. It is basically just a little dial here um, and it spins. I already have it tightened. You, you rotate it clockwise and what it does is it kind of expands and it takes that slack out of the system so it won't have any play. And then after you finish, uh, you know, after you rotate it out clockwise to get it as tight as you want, you get all the play out, there is a little spot right there. That is a two mil hex key. You just tighten that down and then uh, it closes that gap right there and it keeps the adjuster in place. So yeah, that's all I did to get the crank set on. Um, all right, and then all I did here was just attach the rear, der rear derailleur, um, five mil hex key right there. And yeah, so that's it. Y'all are caught up on where I'm at in the install process. We're gonna go ahead and crank this thing out. Um, yeah, let's get it done. All right. I wish they would give me the actual clamp so that I didn't have to take off my grips and stuff now. 300, 400 bucks, come on man. That's how not to do it. This is my worst nightmare. Just a drop. What that soak in there? Rookie Mustang. No proper chain breaker, but we have the Crank Brothers multi tool. Chain breaker included. No, no, kitty, go. Kitty, go, you gotta go. Man, my number one nemesis when I'm doing stuff in the house is animal air. Did this stop raining? Uh, I should go outside for this shit. So I've been editing the video and doing the install at the same time because I don't have time to edit this later. I have to get ready for the trip or whatever, right? Um, 
the footage was bad. It was really bad. Uh, I ran into a bunch of problems and rather than me trying to edit all the footage down to a watchable video, I'm just going to try to go over some of the stuff that gave me problems during the install. Um, this is just for, you know, newbies, beginners. Most of y'all probably already know this, but let's go. All right, so first off, the little lock mechanism that they have right here, uh, you need to use it during the install. The reason I say that is because um, when I was doing the transfer for the MicroShift Advent to the Trail X, it doesn't have a lockout mechanism. So when I did the high limit uh, screw adjustment, low limit screw adjustment, all that stuff, you know, the derailleur cage just sat in its normal position instead of being like locked out like that. And so coming into this, I thought that's how it was gonna be, but no, SRAM, you need to have it in a locked out position to, you know, run your cable, to adjust your limit screws, all that stuff. Um, which is, again, probably common knowledge, but I just learned about it. And another thing, my chain, after cutting it down, uh, everybody kind of knows it's hard to kind of, it could be difficult, you know, to get it back together because uh, it's so short or whatnot. Uh, so for me, I did it with the chain ring, or the chain not on the chain ring, and then I put the master link towards the back here, like kind of halfway on, you know, because you have all the slack there. And so after that, I put the chain back on the chain ring halfway. I gave it a crank and then my chain ring ends up like right here, or the master link ends up like right here. And then I can, uh, you know, pull the brake and crank the crank forward or push the crank forward and it'll pull the uh, master link nice and taut. But you know, no, again, most of y'all probably know that. Uh, but man, I sat here and tried to like squeeze it together and yeah, I just stupid again. Beginner moves, but let's go. Here is the uh, B limit screw tool, adjustment tool. You just, I guess, slide it back on the back of here and then you can see it has like a, like a stencil of what the top cassette looks like. And when you line it up right here, all that's supposed to line up and then it has a line right below the uh, cassette thing and you just make sure all that lines up to where it's like a picture perfect stencil like you're tracing um, and then you you do that by you know turning your adjustment screw right there. Oh. 